Reptile Sam here. Tonight I'm going to be hand feeding my leopard gecko, Edgar. Edgar gets hand fed because if I leave worms in his tank, he won't find them or he won't go after them, and he's just not a very good hunter. He might have bad eyesight, but either way, he gets hand fed. So tonight I'll be showing you how to hand feed a leopard gecko. There's little Eddie. He's hiding behind one of his logs right now. Edgar has a red nightlight that keeps him warm at night. When I hand feed Edgar, I use this pair of blue plastic tongs like this. And you can see he's already excited because he, he sees them and he knows it's food time. And Edgar usually gets worms and, well, mealworms and waxworms. And I have um, this homemade little dish right here I use for the mealworms. So this is the substrate they, they come in along with oatmeal. And if you look really closely, you can see some, some cocoons. And I always feed him the, the cocoons first because those are the ones that will turn into beetles sooner. And I will eat the beetles, but sometimes he doesn't like them as much um, because they're a little harder than... See, he, he missed that one. The beetles are harder than the worms, so the worms are easier for him to eat. Come on, buddy, get it. See, he keeps missing. There he goes. Edgar finally got one. So that's this first one. And there's a lot of cocoons in my uh, in container right now. So Edgar will be getting five mealworm cocoons right now. Um, and then I'll also give him some waxworms as well. So there's three. Right here, buddy. Here we go. All right, let's give him one more cocoon for now. And so, if your leopard gecko um, doesn't seem to be eating food when you put it in its bowl, you can start hand feeding it. And it's more effort than just putting the worms or crickets or roaches or whatever you're feeding your gecko in a bowl. Um, but sometimes it's it always a good way to make sure that your picky eater will actually eat his food. So there's one. So these are wax worms right now, by the way. So Edgar's currently being fed his little wax worms. There's two. And wax worms I keep in the, the refrigerator um, because the wax worms won't die being kept in the fridge. Um, they're okay to be kept at low temperatures. I mean, obviously you don't want to freeze them but they can be kept at low temperatures. And my mealworms, I, don't, I do not refrigerate. So the wax worms were shipped in this little blue tub right here, and I keep them in the same tub that they were shipped in. So let's give him two more. That's one. And let's give him one more wax worm for the evening. Boop, there he goes. Nom, nom, nom. So that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. And if your gecko isn't eating the food that you put in his bowl, you might want to try hand feeding. These blue tweezers, um, I think were $1. And I ordered them along with uh, his food one time. And I order from AB Dragons. I order from Fluker Farms, Rainbow Mealworms, and they each have different pricing, uh, different times of the year. So I check all three whenever I need to make an order of mealworms and waxworms as well as superworms for Bosk. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, that's why I'm here is to help uh, with any kind of funky little reptile problems we have and to help spread the word about how awesome these little guys are. So I'm Reptile Sam, and until next time, have a good one.